Good morning, everybody. I wanted to say uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. I've noticed that the number has gone up lately, so welcome to all of you. Um, you will find out that this channel doesn't just report on food recalls and um, COVID stuff and... Uh, this is a, tr a truther channel, you could say. I'm all about telling the truth. Now, having said that, some of, you know, some things we report, we may find out later, were from a bad source. And if that, if that happens, I will put up a video saying, I'm sorry, I put up a video about whatever. And according to whatever source, this may not be true. They say blah, blah, blah. Okay, so some things I cannot prove. The only things I can prove are what's in the Word of God and what He has told me. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, this is a Christian channel. And... Uh, Sometimes I get into Bible teaching and sometimes the Lord has me to correct what people have learned wrongly in the church, okay? So just letting my new subscribers understand what kind of a channel this is. And I do my very best to always tell the truth, seeing how um, that's what I was called to do. <laughs> Dispel the lies that go out and around, especially that have to do with the Bible. But I also get other things that, there, you know, with politics... There's so much lying going on, and mainstream media, what you see on TV, most of it is lies, or at least an over-exaggeration, or an under, they minimize stuff. But you, right now, we're, you know, we were seeing these huge numbers, you know, about, um... The virus, and then the CDC came out and reported quietly that there were not a hundred and some deaths from COVID. There was only 9,200 and either 43 or 53, somewhere in there, under 10,000. We'll put it that way. So doesn't that sound a whole lot better? So I don't know if that ever got reported on mainstream media, but I reported it. Yep, that's right. See, because it's, you know, if they're being willing to tell the truth about it. I wonder why that was, because they didn't have to. No, they tell the lies until it suits their purpose to tell the truth. So what's going on? I don't know. But this video, <laughs> I said all of that to say this video is to expose another recall. <laughs> no, this time it is not lettuce due to salmonella. Although we've certainly had enough of that. Lettuce, onions, I can't remember all. Okay, and yesterday it was clams or the day before maybe. Anyway. Clams and sprouts. <laughs> so it's really not funny because I just feel like the exposure to that bacterial substance is on purpose. But I can't prove that. I just, it seems like it's over the top too much. You know what I mean? You, you hear of a recall here and a recall there, and it might be dog food this time, and it might be uh, a pharmaceutical, or it might be packaged salad, and then the next time a certain brand of canned made is, but it's been an awful lot of produce lately, 
oranges, limes. Yeah, that was on there. Well, anyway, let's get on to this one. This is from Sun Pharmaceutical. Well, the, the online publication is called Business Wire. And they're saying that Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Incorporated issues voluntary nationwide recall of, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Riomet or Riomet. ER, that would be extended release, R-I-O-M-E-T-E-R. And it's metformin hydrochloride for extended release oral suspension due to N-nitrosodimethylamine sodimethyl nitrosodimethylamine NDMA content above the acceptable daily intake limit. All right. So if you or someone you know takes this, please um, stop. T uh, Call your pharmacy and see if there's a refund or are they providing you with a whole new prescription of something similar with less of the amount of the, um, the NDMA. That's the shortened version of nitrosodimethylamine, NDMA. All right. It says in Prince, from Princeton, New Jersey, the business wire, Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Incorporated or Sun Pharma, a wholly owned subsidiary of Sun Pharmaceutical Industries, LTD, is voluntarily recalling one lot. Okay, listen. One lot of Rio Met uh, ER. Uh, the 500 milligram per 5 ml. So that's a liquid suspension now. 500 milligrams per 5 ml or milliliters to the consumer level. Okay, did that make sense? Pharmaceutical Industry LTD is voluntarily recalling one lot of Riomet, the 500 milligram per 5 ml to the consumer level. Okay, the reason for the recall is due to the level of n nitrosodimethylamine or NDMA, which has been found to be above the allowable acceptable daily intake. Well, then it seems like your doctor could just say, well, just take four milliliters of it then. But clearly there are other ingredients in it that they want you to have the full five milliliters. Which isn't very much, but if there's too much drug in it, then there's too much. Okay, the limit was established by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Okay, I could go on and on. I'll put the link in the description box. If you need to look it up because you're on it and you want to know more, or you, your mother's on it, your grandma's on it, your daughter's on it, somebody's on it that you know, then go to businesswire.com forward slash news forward slash home. And then it's long. It's, it's longer than I, I can read to you. So I would just go to businesswire.com.
dot com slash news slash home and type in your search bar recall of Rio Met ER and that should pull it up it should okay so I'm going to end this here and I'm going to say everybody have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are and um I hope you're not on this or anybody you know, but I don't, I mean, I don't know that much about this drug. I don't know anything about this drug, so I really can't uh, say anything else about it. <laughs> so with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later. And I'm trying to get caught up on my comments. I think I'm about there unless more were put up overnight while I was asleep or last night. I was up pretty late. Yeah, we were having a great Bible study in Revelation again last night. And, um, grafted in Team Jesus. Yeah, talking about the two resurrections and um, the two raptures or harvests. We're calling them barley harvest and wheat harvest. And then there's a the grape harvest. That's the martyrs who die after the raptures because people hung around, you know, they didn't change their mind in time. But there's going to be people that see what's going on and they're going to realize, once they realize Satan is real, they're going to realize God is real. You see, because atheists believe there's no God, so therefore there's no Satan. So therefore, when they die, they're just going to take a dirt nap and disintegrate, you know, and there is no more. If you could just convince your friends that are atheists that there is a spiritual world that is more real than what we see. Because what we see, all this is going to burn. Our bodies will they'll turn to spirit and then we get a glorified body or you go to hell and I guess it's some kind of fleshly body that's able to feel pain because you'll suffer forever and it may not sound fair but gosh show I don't feel even worthy of getting heaven forever. So it's kind of, you know, it's you, it's your choice. It's everybody's choice. It's spelled out in the word of God. The Lord made sure that there was enough Bible left that people could, excuse me, people could learn enough to know there's a heaven and there's a hell and if you don't accept Jesus as your personal savior and repent of your sins daily because we're all sinners and we will continue to sin until we die or get raptured because we're human but you can't use that as a the people that trample on grace they think oh I'm only human God knows I'm only human I can't be perfect well that's why he made the provision of grace it's by grace that we're saved through faith that not of ourselves it's a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast but we are saved to do good works. That's Ephesians 2.10. Read the whole thing. Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 10. And I believe it's in James. I want to say 1.7, but I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Faith without works is dead. I don't want to quote it wrong. Faith 
without works is dead. Okay, it's James 2.20 and James 2.26. Let's see. 2.20, James 2, verse 20. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? James 2.26 For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. You might want to read the whole chapter. That's that, you know, sometimes we have to just pick one verse out when we're trying to, you know, tell people about God or whatever. They're not going to stand there and listen to you read a whole chapter. But when you are doing your Bible study and you are looking things up, I highly suggest that you read the whole chapter or at least the paragraph above and the paragraph below unless the subject changes. Okay, so I'm done with this video and I will go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus over it and over all of each of us and our devices and our internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.